Well, thanks to Ross the boss and his little boy Luke. Thanks, Luke. We get to take a look at this big old excavator as a compound machine. Let's learn physics. This is a Bruder excavator. Apparently it's a really cool toy manufacturer. Dude, this thing is really pretty sweet. Now, it's a, it's a series, a combination of simple machines. So it's a compound machine and, and this whole thing, just like the real one, it, well, swivels, right? Swivels and it rolls along on tracks. And then this is the part we're gonna focus on right here. That, that little thing right there. So there's a series, series of levers. And we have here, okay, we have the, the bucket. Now these are all connected. In the, the, this fake one, they're all connected by a single lever. In the real one, all of the individual piston systems are, they're all individually controlled. So this hydraulic piston cylinder arrangement and that one and these two here, they're all individually controlled. So we kind of have to imagine that that's happening here. So start with the bucket at the far end. The bucket, the, the weight's here, the output force is down here, and the pivot is right here, and the input force is over here. So looks like pivot's in the middle, that's a first class lever. And then here, just this arm, just that portion of the arm, this piece. Then the input is up here, and the output's down here, and the pivot's in the middle, that's another first class lever. And then here, we have the, the weight out here, the output force is there. The input force is located here and the pivot's back there. So this looks like a third class lever. But in each of these cases, if you look carefully, in each of them, this is a speed displacement multiplier, each one. So this is a third class lever, always a speed displacement multiplier. This, that's a first class lever, but you see that the input arm is short and the output arm is long, another speed displacement multiplier. And the same thing down here at the bucket. You just isolate that bucket, pivots here, input forces over here, output forces over there. That is yet another speed displacement multiplier. Anytime you have a compound machine, you're gonna take the individual mechanical advantage of this one and that one and that one, and not add them to get the total, but multiply to get the total. So this is a pretty significant speed and displacement multiplier. Hydraulic muscles, like our muscles, are capable of huge forces, but only over short distances. That makes these machines speed displacement multipliers with the mechanical advantage less than one, which means that they're also force dividers. They take a large input force and give you a small output force, but a large displacement and a large speed. And this one, you just, you just have the single control that single control does everything, and it pulls and it pushes. Unlike our muscles, which only pull, and they can, it's really great, because in your arm, in your arm you have the, the bicep and you have the tricep, and the bicep is the flexor and the tricep is the extensor. Same thing with your, with your lower leg, you do that with your lower leg, and you have the two separate muscles. Two separate muscles are light, but they can only apply force in tension. This is a hydraulic piston cylinder arrangement and it can be pushed in both directions. And if you look carefully here and if you look carefully at the real one, you'll see that the hydraulic fluid can be pumped into the backside to push it. Just talking about this one. The hydraulic fluid can be pumped in back here to push the piston in that direction. Or if you want to draw it up, you can pump fluid in this direction and push the, pillin, uh, the, push the piston in that direction. So this is a push-pull arrangement, and this one down here also, that's a push-pull arrangement. And this one, well, uh, just the gravitational force will allow this one to come back down generally. But that's also a push-pull piston cylinder arrangement. So here's a real excavator just outside my house. And if you look closely, you can follow those hydraulic hoses, and there are eight of them total for four piston cylinder arrangements. And here's the front one, there's the inlet, there's the pusher, and here's the, here's the other end, that's the pusher in the opposite direction. And on the front end, you have the pusher to lift it up, to retract, and then there's the pusher to push out the piston. On the top, you have two of them also, you can't see the other one. And then this last one, the fourth, is to close those jaws. You see the closer hose and the opener hose. 
on the two ends. Spiel gut, it says on the side here. Apparently made in Germany. Really, really, really good for showing how the things function. And really good for little five-year-olds to play with. Uh, so if you have any excess money and you want to send it to me, just buy one of these, send it my direction.